What's going on, everyone? Chad here. Welcome to episode four of the level three Ultimate Iron Man Skiller. Let's start by re revisiting the previous episode. We completed all the prerequisites to Bon Voyage, including a zero experience kill of a bat for Merlin's Crystal. We lamped 30 Slayer and eventually got 31 Slayer using our Ardoin Diary Lamp and freeing up another inventory spot. And last but not least, we navigated to Fossil Island, completed Bon Voyage, and unlocked all of the opportunities that the island has to hold. During today's episode, we really want to showcase the beginning construction grind as well as unlocking um, the balloon transport system. We're completing Daddy's Home mini quest right now, but really having a POH is going to give us storage as well as a workshop, and the balloon transport system will give us additional transportation around the world. We start by completing Goblin Diplomacy. We're also going to free the Goblin Generals um, because we need crafting and farming experience to actually be able to complete Enlightened Journey. So level 9 farming, level 22 crafting, and level 20 cooking. Um, we were doing an allotment patch starting the farming grind and we were able to get level 10 farming. I'm going to showcase the, the entry construction method that I use here. You can see that I don't have any weapons other than the axe and the arty cloak in my inventory, which I'm going to drop because I'm going to be using Entrana. So if we use the monk to travel to Entrana, we're going to travel to the north side of the building um, near where the phoenix, or sorry, the north side of the island near where the phoenix is. And there are actually two plank spawns here. We are going to pick them up and hop between worlds until we have a full inventory of planks. The reason that I like this method for an ultimate Iron Man is it's mostly free. You only have to pay for, for the nails that you use to, to actually use these planks. So it's very easy to complete early game. And typically these, pl these plank spawns aren't um, camped by anyone. You get about 7,000 experience per hour uh, I'm not going to make you watch the entire the entire grind here, but I wanted to showcase the entire method. So we basically are hopping, picking up those planks, walking to our POH, using them, walking back, and repeating that method as we continue to gain levels. Once we're in our POH, simply use the planks and get some levels. I added a kitchen um, so that I could do larders. Um, they're just quicker. They use more planks um, with each go and there's level 10 construction, level 20 construction, level 30 construction, and then we're gonna get level 33 construction, which unlocks oak larders, which is the method that I would like to move to next. However, I need the balloon transport system before I can use this method. So we're gonna to need to get crafting and we're gonna to need to get farming experience to make sure that we can actually complete that quest. We're gonna start the Shiloh, visit, Shiloh Village quest, um, mostly because it gives us a nice chunk of crafting experience. It's also one of the few quests that we have to risk experience on. Um, you may wonder, how can you do this quest as a level three? There's three high level bosses. Well, what we're gonna do is use an alt account. So you can see I have a main account here. Um, he has a serpentine helm as well as a blowpipe. He is going to inflict some damage on the boss here. We're going to let the venom take effect on this, on this NPC. What I will need to do on the skiller account is actually hit, hit the boss once. Um, a zero is perfectly fine. That is why I have the wines so that I can sip them, reduce my attack to zero, and basically whack the boss with a fun weapon, hitting a zero, then we simply wait. We allow the venom to tick down, slowly killing the boss, and then we have two more to do. So when the next one spawns, move out of the way, don't get hit, use your main account again, whack it, and repeat, and we're gonna do the same thing for the third boss. Um, I highly recommend bringing wines, not just to reduce your attack to zero, making your, your hit likelihood a lot lower, but also because this boss can hit 
a nine. So we can quickly replenish all of our health and not die. There we go, we've completed all three and we can go ahead and grab the corpse and continue on with the Shiloh Village quest. Here we are using the, using the corpse and we are going to complete the Shiloh Village quest and get a big chunk of crafting experience. That's gonna bring us to level 27 crafting. I also went ahead and did the sheep shear quest, a little bit more of crafting experience. Um, I used the daddy's home crate that I received and got to level 34 construction so that I could make a level three um, crafting table here and make clockwork mechanisms. I got lazy to be completely honest with the farming grind and I had a stack of, of, of money so I went ahead and started doing bagged plants. Um, this gives both construction and farming experience. Level 20 farming. And we're going to get level 30 farming here in just a second, which will allow us to plant the willow tree for Enlightened Journey. Um, I only recommend this if you have a lot of money. Um, this took about 800,000 um, GP to actually do. I took a break to submit some codes to Diango here in Drainer Village. Um, these unlock things like the home teleport where the cow kicks you. Um, you can get a cool looking shield as well as another um, emote that you can use. So I've, I've put here the codes on the screen. Um, go ahead and do this if you haven't. So OSRS RF 2004, RuneFest 17, and Premier Club 18 to unlock these three additional kind of perks, so to speak. Next, I want to showcase the crafting method that I'm going to use to get the Rex for Enlightened Journey. You can see I'm here in Brimhaven. I'm using the charter ships. I'm buying up the materials to make molten glass, and then I'm quickly hopping to another world. Um, I'm going to use the cart system to go to Shiloh Village and use the furnace. That is the reason that I had to complete Shiloh Village because yes, it gave me crafting experience, but it unlocked this method, um, which is actually really good experience for an ultimate Iron Man in scales as you get more levels. We simply blow the glass, go back to charter ship, sell and repeat and continue to hop worlds as we, as we use up the, uh, the stock. We're gonna get level 30 crafting and then here we are going ahead and getting level 36 crafting, which we need for Enlightened Journey. We've started the quest because um, we have 30 farming and 36 crafting. I also just want to call this out. These villagers are rather weird. Um, I don't know why they hate origami, origami balloons, um, but it's quite comical that they, that they basically chase it down with pitchforks. Um, we got the willow tree. We're planting it here in Lumbridge, and we're going to log off for the night and basically come back and get the branches in the morning. Got the branches, we're able to continue the quest. Um, we're flying the balloon here um, and unlocking our first route to Taverly, um, which is gonna be very useful. Let's talk to him here and we're gonna go ahead and complete the Enlightened Journey quest. Um, nice chunk of experience as, as well. It's gonna give us 32 farming, 33 wood cutting, and 32 fire making. I went ahead and I'm going to complete the unlocking the other um, other routes that I can as well. So we're going to unlock the crafting guild route and it's also going to give us 40 fire making which unlocks the Varrock route which is needed for our our method for for construction. So here we are unlocking the Varrock route as well. You may notice that I didn't have any money left after using those bag plants. Well, I need money to make oak planks. So here we are back at the trusty agility pyramid. You know, after two or three hours, we, we racked up almost 500,000 coins again, which should be plenty to, to get us to level 50 crafting, which, or sorry, level 50 construction, which is our goal um, for this episode. Also wanted to showcase my cool uh, home emote that, uh, that I just got where I get kicked all the way back to, to Lumbridge. I was going to show you my construction um, method. However, I forgot I need to move my house from Remington 
to Taverly. Make sure you uh, do that first so you don't have to run back and forth. It's not very fun. Um, I was filling up my log storage and was able to get level 40 wood cutting. We also received a beginner, beginner clue. Um, let's see what we get here. Um, we're going to get quite a few clues during this grind just because we did a lot of wood cutting. Nothing. Okay, I want to showcase the construction method that I'm using now. Um, I'm near the Varrock Sawmill. There's two oak trees here. I'm going to cut those oak trees. We're going to make planks. We're going to take the balloon to Taverly, run to our PLH, use up the planks, balloon back, and basically repeat that method. Um, we're able to get about 21,000 experience or so, so this is about three times faster than the Atrana method. Um, it isn't free, um, but it's much better experience and it's only going to scale as I get higher wood cutting levels and a better axe than an iron axe that I'm using here to, to maximize my inventory space. Level 40 construction. Another beginner clue. Um, like I said, we get quite a few of these during the grind. Nothing. Uh, we got a willow seed, so we went ahead and planted that as well, and we're going to get 34 farming, which is unlocking Tithe Farm, which is going to be very useful in the future. Another beginner clue, nothing once again, and another beginner clue, once again nothing, and an easy clue. We do get a new collection log item, but once again, nothing. We're going to go ahead and finish the video here with me getting level 50 construction. Um, I think it's a nice stopping point, and what we're going to do during the next video is complete the favor in all five houses. So thanks, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Give me a like, give me a comment, give me a follow. Have a good day.